at the Richwood. Michelle, I thank you once again for um, getting these videos out. And I was trying to have one last week, didn't work out. So anyway, I'm going to try to get this one to you this afternoon. What is today, Brother John? 29th? 29th. August 29th. Brother John is with us. Amen. All right. <clears throat> so I'll give you a little thought. And um, Romans, I was thinking about this in Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I taught on this last week, and I'm going to finish up this uh, thought today in Sunday school, uh, the rest of it. But I'm going to give you just a couple thoughts here. <clears throat> Paul said in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service. And I was thinking about some things as a child of God. Uh, there's some basics, I guess I call it. And um, there's some basic things that we need to do as a child of God. In the Marine Corps, everybody in the Marine Corps in boot camp is a, is a rifleman. No matter what your job is in the Marine Corps, Everybody's basic responsibility is to be a rifleman. Know how to operate your rifle, tear it down, clean it, put it back together, and know how to shoot it well. So anyway, but there's some basic things for the child of God, amen? And so I thought, uh, Sister Janice, first of all, I thought about this. We ought to be able to extend our hands. Extend our hands, because there's people in need and people... Uh, right now, around the world, there's people that need help. And, and I know there's organizations uh, out there trying to help people. <clears throat> but here's what James said about it, Brother John. He said, What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and hath not, have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto him, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? So if you, you know, there's people on the side of the road, there's people down in downtown Louisville, there's probably people here in LaGrange, Kentucky, that uh, maybe don't have a home, maybe living off the streets. And so... What James is saying there, if we see that person there naked, destitute, um, you know, don't have any food, what he's saying there is put your faith to works. Put some legs on those on that faith. Go and help that person. You, 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 maybe just give them some food. Maybe give them a couple dollars. Maybe give them, a, uh, you know, a warm place to sleep, whatever it is. I don't know. But... <clears throat> All I'm saying is one of the basic things for the child of God is to lend a hand. And that may not be getting a person off the street. That may be a brother or sister in church. That may be your neighbor uh, that's in need of something, you know, to go help them uh, next door. 
So Jude said this, and some have compassion, making a difference. And that word difference means this, a significant change in or effect on a situation. You and I can have a significant change in someone's life just by showing compassion. That's all we need to do is show compassion toward that person. You may not know that person. You may not even like that person. But Jude said some have compassion making a difference. So if you want to make a difference in somebody's life there at the Richwood, just have compassion on that person. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe you just need to open your ear and just be someone to, you know, let, let them talk to you. And maybe they got a story. Maybe they got something on their heart they want to share with you. And so I thought about, first of all, lending a hand. And then uh, one of our other basic uh, responsibilities is to expand our hearts. Not only should we lend a hand to those that have needs, but also uh, I believe that God wants us to um, expand our hearts. In first uh, I'm sorry, first Kings chapter three, verse 12, Sister Monica, this is what the Bible said. He said, behold, I have done according to thy work. Or I'm sorry, I have, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any uh, arise like unto thee. Amen. And so uh, God's talking about Solomon there. Solomon was given a wise and understanding heart. And then in, in chapter four of 1 Kings, the Bible said this, and God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much and largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. His heart was so big and God had equipped him with such a wise and understanding heart and a largeness of heart that he was able to lead God's people. And that's all Solomon wanted to do. He said, Lord, if you'll just give me the ability to lead your people. And so <clears throat> didn't ask for anything else. Now, God gave him a lot more, Brother John. But one thing he asked for is just understanding wisdom and how to lead God's people. And God gave him such a largeness of heart <clears throat> that he did that. Now, Solomon did some other things that <clears throat> I'm sure that uh, he, he, he's not proud of. But uh, <clears throat> he did that. <clears throat> also, in the... Uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. Uh, Peter said this, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Mm -hmm. But so Peter said, Sanctify the Lord. Separate. Let, let God take over your heart. Uh, and, and, and like I said last week, if God is, is sanctified in our heart, if, if our heart is full of God, then there's no other room for jealousy. Yeah. There's no other room for hatred. There's no other room for bitterness. There's no other room for, you know, uh, having odd against a brother or sister. All of that stuff will be pushed out yeah. if God is the center of our heart. Let God have the whole heart. Amen. Let him be number one in our heart, in our minds, in our life, the way we talk. Uh, uh, the way we uh, walk, the way we think. And so <clears throat> that's all I've got for you this morning. And I just want to give you those two little thoughts um, on extending our hand and expanding our hearts. And I hope you enjoyed the, the singing that I put on there. And uh, so Michelle, we'll, we'll get here in a couple more weeks, we'll get another video to you all. If you have anything you want to pray about or you need anything, uh, let Michelle know and she'll, she'll get a hold of me. And I'll see you all later. All the key.